You are watching 8-Bit Days a Week. And if you'll notice, I'm right into a game right now. <laughs> because actually, I uh, like recorded a video just a few minutes ago. And uh, well, the sound turned out so bad. Anyway, you're right into it. This is Super Jump Fighter Mini Mix. Capcom. This is the arcade version, not the PS1 ISO. Like always, I recommend putting the arcade ISO, I mean the arcade ROM, instead of the PS1 ISO. You know, for no loading times and having the actual arcade experience. Of course, not without the inserting of uh, tokens or playing it on an arcade cabinet. So this is actually, um, I guess it's sort of related to the Puzzle Fighter game. Um, but this is the fighting game version, it's not a puzzle game. Some of the characters reuses the sprites featured on that game though. There are different characters here though. Uh, Unfortunately, Develop is not here. We do get uh, Tessa from Red Earth. So one thing about this game, it may be a simplistic version of, let's say, Street Fighter. So you get auto combos by just repeatedly tapping the punch button. But the AI is actually significantly um, harder. Or is it just me and maybe I'm not used to this game? <laughs> So yeah, here's one of the newer characters during that time. One thing about this game though, I think if you're not a Capcom fan, or a big Capcom fan, you might miss out half of it because some of the... like part of the enjoyment of this game is looking at all these easter eggs, cameos, and references to other Capcom games that if you're not familiar with them you might not get any or I mean less enjoyment on playing this game um, not to say it's a bad game it's a fun game especially if you have a second player although playing this by yourself may not be as fun because as I mentioned the AI tends to get frustrating all right but anyway yeah other uh, that aside you get uh, beautiful sprite art as well um and it looks great on the PlayStation Classic. This is actually the first time for me looking at this on HD with quotation marks. Mm. 
the Capcom has pretty much forgotten this uh, series though, I guess. It's never revisited in any collection or some sort. I guess. I I've seen this on the arcades. Um, I guess people played it when it was new, but um, it kind of quickly died out, I guess. Maybe because it's not really like the hardcore competitive game. I don't know. I played it a few times, but uh, like I just went back to playing Rival Schools after trying this out. Ugh. All right. Well, I think that should be it. Should be it for this video. This is Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix, and uh, you're watching 8-bit days a week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.